So I'm going to invite you to start paying attention to your breath, okay? So when you breathe in, I want you to envision that your belly is a balloon. And as you breathe in, your belly gets bigger like a balloon. So this allows your body to have more oxygen and oxygen is like caffeine for your cells. It's going to wake up all your cells. So as you take a deep breath in, you're going to envision that the sun is above your head. Okay? So the sun is the source of life. The sun is the source of life, right? The sun hits plants and that creates photosynthesis and that creates air. And without air, you can't have life. So as you envision the sun above you, I want you to imagine that there's a string attached from the sun to the top of your head. And this string is gently pulling you up just the right amount so that your spine is perfectly stacked. It's just, it's just normal. <laughs> and throughout this meditation, I'm going to invite you to keep your eyes closed so that you can go within because all of the answers that you're looking for are inside of you. And this is a journey into your wisdom, the infinite wisdom inside of you. Everything that you've been thinking about, all the questions that you have, you will get the answers when you go within. So I want you to pay attention to the sounds around you. Just observe them. Observe them and let them go. Maybe you want to feel the wind and give gratitude for the wind, for cleansing all the stress, cleansing all the negativity, cleansing all the frustration, cleansing anything that's bothering you. And I'm going to invite you to continue envisioning that the sun is above you and is gently pulling you up so that your spine is perfectly stacked. And you're going to relax your shoulders. You're just going to tune into your body, see how it's feeling. Now I'm going to invite you to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. So this creates saliva. And the more saliva that we have, the more water that we have in our bodies. And water is a terrific conductor of energy, of electricity. So when we have more water in our bodies, the energy will flow effortlessly. Now I'm going to invite you to look up at the sun. Don't move your head, just move your eyes and just gently look up. It's as if you're trying to look at the back of your head. It's like you're look, trying to look at your brain. So we do this because it's putting us into a theta brainwave state, which will allow us to take our meditation even deeper. But do not strain your eyes, just do it gently. And throughout this meditation, if you're getting lost or distracted, just come back to your breath. Be compassionate with yourself. So as you envision the sun above your head, you're going to breathe in the golden light from the sun. And this golden light is going to cleanse every cell inside of your body. It's going to cleanse and revitalize all the bones, all the organs, all the blood cells, all the neurons, the veins, everything inside of your body. So we breathe in golden light and it comes down through our hair follicles, down into our forehead, relaxing 
every cell it touches. And as you exhale, I'm going to invite you to exhale a gray color. And this gray color is going to represent all of the stress, all the fear, all the doubt, all the self-criticism. Anything that is not serving you, you're going to exhale it. All the physical diseases, all the toxins in your body, you're going to exhale it out in a gray color. So breathing in golden light, sending it into our forehead, holding it, and slowly exhaling out. Breathing in golden light. And gently exhaling out all that no longer serves us. Breathing in golden light. And gently exhaling out. Now I want you to breathe in the golden light and send it down into your neck, easing out all of the tension in your neck, sending it down through your shoulders, down into your chest, breathing in the golden light sending it to every cell inside of our bodies, every bone, every blood vessel, every neuron, every organ that it touches is going to be vibrating at its highest frequencies. Now as we breathe in the golden light, we send it down through our arms, down into our hands, down into our finger, and into our nails, relaxing every muscle, every cell in the body. Breathing in golden light, sending it into our chest, releasing any shame, any guilt, any pressure that's been built up over the last few weeks. Breathing in golden light, sending it into our stomachs, into the, all the organs, reminding the organs to go, return back to their perfect state. Because our bodies know how to heal themselves. And so you breathe in the golden light and you send it into your hips, releasing all the tightness from your hips. Maybe you've been accumulating a lot of pressure from your partner, from your family, from your friends, from your co-workers. Just release all of that. Release all that no longer serves you. Breathing in golden light. Sending this revitalizing golden light into our thighs. Releasing all the tightness in the thighs. Maybe we haven't been as flexible as we can be. Just release all that. Forgive yourself and make the intention that you will become more flexible and you'll flow with the wind that you're feeling brushing against your arms right now. As you breathe in the golden light, you send it down into your knees, relieving any pain in the knees we often hold a lot of our ancestors' karma and their pain in our knees. So we're just going to heal that. We're just going to release that. Send it love. Send it this healing golden light. Because that doesn't need to be there. As you breathe in the golden light, you send it down into your calves. 
you loosen up all the muscles, anything that's made you stressed or made you worried, you're just gonna release all that. Because in order to create new things, in order to receive new, wonderful, beautiful things, we need to get rid of the old. We need to get rid of all the energies that are no longer serving us. All the self-doubt, all the fear, all the frustration, all the anger, you need to release that. So as you breathe in the golden light, you send it down into your ankles, down into the feet, into the toes, and into the nails. And now I'm going to invite you to envision that you are shining just like Buddha, just like Jesus, like their auras, their gold auras. Your aura looks just like theirs. Because you are a beautiful being of light. And you're shining and you're giving yourself finally the opportunity to shine because we need you to shine your light. There's no time to play small anymore. You need to shine light in all this darkness and that's your purpose, it's your responsibility. Now I'm gonna invite you to Relax your shoulders and take a deep breath in. And when we breathe in, we're gonna breathe in this golden light and we're gonna exhale air so that we become one with the light and the light will always be inside of us. So we take a deep breath in from our bellies. Hold. And exhale. Giving gratitude for the breath, for your life. So many people didn't wake up this morning, but you did, and you are here for a reason. You're listening to this for a reason. And I give you my gratitude for allowing me to join you on this journey as you heal yourself. Because what you're doing is so powerful Every cell inside of your body is connected to someone else's cells. So as you heal yourself, you're healing someone else and you're healing the earth. So I want you to focus on your heart and you're going to place your hands on your heart. Let your intuition guide you as to which hand will Go first. So place both of your hands on your heart. And just lay your hands flat and just feel the vibration, feel the pulsation. Try to match your breath to your heart. Your heart is the most powerful organ in your body. It's filled with millions of neurons and your, and your heart dictates your mind, it dictates your well-being, it dictates everything. So tune into this heart more often. Don't focus on others. Feel this vibration that's within you. There's no vibration in this universe that's stronger, more powerful, or more beautiful than this. So just give it gratitude. The fact that it's 
beating and it's sending blood into your entire body. Maybe you want to give yourself forgiveness for not paying attention to it more often. Maybe you've been worried about what others think about you and you're not doing what your heart wants. Or maybe you're afraid and you're not doing what your heart wants. Just give yourself compassion. So I'm going to invite you to do this Hawaiian practice called the Ho'oponopono. So you can repeat this internally. So don't say this out loud. Just say it inside of your mind. I want you to envision your child self. So Im imagine that you were five, seven, eight, nine, twelve 12 years old. In Im imagine that child version of you in front of you. And you're going to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. And we're asking forgiveness from our child because we often ran away from our dreams. Whether you wanted to be a singer, an actress, a firefighter, a superhero and you didn't follow your dreams we're gonna ask for forgiveness from running away from this heart desire and now I'm gonna invite you to take a deep breath in and exhale out all the tension all the frustration We often carry a lot of baggage, emotional baggage, with us. And when this emotional baggage gets very heavy, it manifests as a physical disease. So it's very important that we're constantly doing this healing work to make sure we're healthy. In all the terms, mentally healthy, emotionally healthy, physically healthy, financially healthy, spiritually healthy. It's available to you. You are blocking everything that's meant for you. When you don't listen to your heart and you don't do what it's telling you to do. So now we're going to clear our chakras and then we're going to manifest what that child wanted to create. So I'm going to invite you to focus on your root chakra. So focus on your tailbone and envision that there's a red wheel, a red balloon on your tailbone. So you're going to fill this balloon with more red light as you bring in light into this into your tailbone you're going to do it with the intention that you feel more grounded you feel more grounded in your personality in your body that you love your gorgeous body every every aspect of it As you send the light, you're going to feel safe that no one and nothing can hurt you. So you're going to feel physically safe, emotionally safe, mentally safe, and financially safe and spiritually saved. And you know that all of your needs will be met. There is abundance for everyone. And we often block abundance from coming into our lives. So we're just going to clear all of that. And you're going to envision that from your tailbone, 
there are roots growing down into the grass and it's piercing into the soil and it's going down into the crust of the earth and down into the core of the earth and you have these solid roots that are going to keep you grounded no matter what storm comes these roots will keep you grounded because you are able to surpass anything the universe, God, spirit, source, whatever you want to call it, whatever you believe in, will never put something in your path that you cannot overcome. Everything is there to teach us something for us to learn and to grow. And these roots that we're creating are an attestment to that. Now I'm going to invite you to focus on your sex organs and you're going to envision that there's an orange balloon there and you're going to send orange light beautiful orange light into this area as you send this orange light into your sex organs you're going to release all feelings of guilt all feelings of shame We've been taught that sex is bad and desiring sex is bad, but sex is something creative and we are creators. As long as you're respecting yourself, you're respecting your partner, there's no reason to have shame. So release all the, sh all the, all the shame here, all the guilt. And now you're going to bring in the beautiful orange light and you're going to send it with the intention to make you more creative, to make you more creative in your relationships. How can you spice things up in your relationship? How can you show your parents more love? How can you show your friends more love in a creative way? How can you show yourself more love in a creative way? Your creativity is going to be unleashed as you send this golden, this orange light. And this area of our bodies, the sacral chakra, is associated with our ability to process and to handle emotions. So some of you who are having digestive issues or stomach issues are holding too many emotions okay so we're just going to make the intention that we're going to release all emotions from ourselves and other people that do not serve us and we're going to honor our emotions from now on we're going to honor and feel them and Understand that we are not our emotions. We don't ignore our emotions, but we don't attach to them. So now you see a beautiful, bright, orange ball in this area of your body. Now I'm going to invite you to focus on your belly button. Your belly button is where your solar plexus is located. And your solar plexus is related to your personal power, to your confidence. Have you been playing small? Are you afraid to create? Why are you so afraid of your power? I want you to send beautiful yellow light into your belly button and imagine that it's getting bigger and bigger. Your power is getting bigger and bigger and you're allowing the power to flow inside of you. You use that power, that self-confidence with integrity. You use that power with love. So 
So just envision yellow light going into your belly button like a wheel of a wheel of light. And it should be rotating clockwise as we're activating our power, the unlimited power that we have inside of us. Because the only limitations that we have are the limitations that we place on ourselves. Just like the universe is infinite and keeps expanding, so is our power. Our power is infinite. And you placing limitations and barriers is not allowing your power to expand. So you're just going to let it expand. You're going to give yourself the opportunity to expand your personal power in your relationships, in your work, in all aspects of your life. Now I'm going to invite you to look at this beautiful yellow wheel of light in your stomach area. And whenever you're feeling insecure, whenever you're feeling doubt, doubtful, where you're doubting yourself, return back to this and send the light there. Now I'm going to invite you to pay attention to your heart. So focus on your heart space and we're going to take a few deep breaths here, okay? So breathing in. As we breathe in, we send green light and exhaling all the pain. Breathing in green light, exhaling all the suffering. Breathing in green light, exhaling all the anger. Breathing in, green light. Exhaling all the frustration. And I'm going to invite you to repeat this inside of your head. Don't say it out loud. But you're going to say, I am enough. You're going to repeat inside of your head, I am enough. So repeat internally, I am enough, because you are enough. The fact that you have a heart, the fact that you have a pulse, a breath, you just need to exist. You're enough. You don't need to do anything to receive love. You are worthy of love. And as we breathe in this green light, we give ourselves the permission to receive and to accept love and to give love effortlessly. We are human beings and our essence is to love and to connect. And as you breathe in green light, you're going to expand this green light around your heart area and all the stress, all the tension, all the blood vessels that felt tight, they're gonna feel a bit more light and loose. That's why so many people die from heart disease. So we're reversing all these illnesses inside of our bodies. So as you inhale the green light, you expand all the blood vessels inside of you So now I'm going to invite you to envision a beautiful green ball of light in your chest. And I'm going to invite you to always remember that you are enough and there's nothing you need to do to receive love, to be worthy of love. Now I'm going to invite you to focus on your throat. The throat chakra is blue, so we're going to inhale beautiful blue light. 
So you can connect with the water that's out in front of us. If you're listening to this, envision that there's a beautiful lake or a ocean in front of you. So you're gonna send this blue water into your throat and it's going to cleanse all the thyroid issues, all the throat issues. Maybe you have a sore throat. It's going to cleanse all that. And it's going to cleanse your self-doubt. Why you don't speak your truth? Why, do you, why don't you share your opinions? All that fear, all that doubt is going to be cleansed. So as you breathe in the beautiful blue color, the water is cleansing you. Feeling like you can breathe more easily. Now I'm going to invite you that to envision that beautiful blue light is coming down from the universe into your throat and it's rotating in a clockwise direction. So we're going to activate our ability to speak our truth, to speak with confidence, to speak with conviction, to speak clearly and effortlessly what's in our hearts. Because when you speak from the heart, you're speaking the truth. Whatever you do, whatever you think, whatever you say, if you do it from the heart, then it's the right thing to do. Don't question yourself. Give yourself the ability to speak your mind through your heart. Now I'm going to invite you to focus, to focus on your throat and to envision that there's a beautiful blue light, blue ball of light here. And it's just shining brightly, reminding you of the power of your voice, of the importance of your voice, of how much light your voice brings into the world. Your voice is a beautiful frequency, a beautiful tone. Now I'm going to invite you to focus on the center of your head. So right between your eyebrows, slightly above, your third eye is located here. Your third eye is associated with your intuition, your connection to the universe, your higher self. So as you breathe in, you're going to send a beautiful purple light into, your, into the middle of your forehead. And you're gonna be clearing up all the mental fog here all the confusion, all the self-doubt, the self-criticism, anything that's distracting you from what you really want to create in this world, you're just going to wipe it out with this purple light. So as you breathe in, you send beautiful purple light into the center of your forehead and it's spinning in a clockwise direction. And it's just opening your third eye, reminding you that you know absolutely everything and that I'm merely here as a guide to remind you what you already know. So we take a deep breath in and we exhale it out through our third eye. Maybe you'll feel tingles or pulsations or warmth. This is totally normal. Remember to always trust your gut, trust your intuition. It's there for a reason. Now I'm going to invite you to envision that there's a beautiful purple light, a, a ball of purple light 
on your forehead. And whenever you're feeling confused or you feel foggy or your mind is cloudy, you're just going to send this light there. Now I'm going to invite you to focus on the sun that's above your head and the string attached and you're going to gently align your spine, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your body and you're going to focus six inches above your head there's a ball of white light this is your crown chakra this is connected this connects you to a higher intelligence whatever you feel that means to you you're allowing that connection to be established and allowing yourself to get messages from the divine Whenever a coincidence or a synchronicity happens, you're going to pay attention to all the signs that are going to happen to you this month. Listen to it. It's there to show you, to remind you to get on your path. Because we're all here for a purpose. So as we send beautiful white light to six inches above our head, we're going to send the intention that we're going to have more clarity. We're going to have more guidance, more confidence in ourselves, in our spirit guides, in our higher selves. And we're going to have a lot of clarity. And we're going to get a lot of signs this month about how this next chapter and this current chapter of our lives is meant to look like. Now that your entire being is cleansed, I'm going to invite you to focus again on your heart. So place your hands on your heart and feel the heartbeat, feel the pulsations. And we're just going to take a few seconds. Whenever you feel confused, whenever you feel afraid, whenever you have any doubt or frustration, put your hands on your heart and focus and try to align your breath to your heart because there is nothing more powerful than this pulsation. There's so much voltage in your heart. And now, you're going to give gratitude again because we're going to manifest. And we always manifest from a space of gratitude because we need to expand our hearts. We need to expand our energy bodies or our auras in order to receive everything that the universe, God, source, spirit, whatever you want to call it, wants to give us. So visualize one thing that you want to create in your life this month. But I want you to feel like it's already happened. Maybe you want to ask that person out. Just see yourselves on a date with them. Like it's already happened. The most important thing is that you feel it. So feel love, gratitude, excitement, joy, peace. So visualize as it's already in the past. Now I'm going to invite you to visualize the other thing that you want to create. Maybe you want to finally start that creative project, that business. Or maybe you want to finally ask for a promotion. 
Visualize as if you've already completed it and you've already achieved it. How will you be celebrating? Who will you be with? Are you going to have a giant smile in your face? Visualize how that will feel, how that celebration, feel it inside of your body. And now we're going to manifest one final thing. And this final manifestation is going to be that manifestation, that desire, that dream that that child wanted when you asked it for forgiveness. So envision, connect with that child version of yourself and ask it what it wants to create now. Does it still want to become an actress? Does it still want to become a firefighter? Does it still want to become a magician? A football player? A mother? A father? Visualize whatever that dream you had was and visualize as if it's already happened. Imagine you and the child celebrating together in joy. And now I'm going to invite you to Visualize that it's that child's birthday. So visualize that there's a cake, a birthday cake in front of you. And there's three candles on this cake. So put your first manifestation in one candle, the other manifestation in the next, and the other manifestation in the final candle. So I'm going to invite you to take a, so listen to me, don't do this yet. You're going to breathe in from your solar plexus. So breathe in yellow light. You're going to send it to your heart and you're going to mix it with green light. And you're going to blow out the candle. So we're using our, perp our, our personal power and our heart's desire to blow out our wishes because we have the power to make this a reality and we are getting support from every person in this circle, every person listening to this meditation online, whenever you may be listening to this, because time and space is flexible in the energy world. So I'm gonna invite you to take a deep breath and pull in the yellow light from your belly send it up to your heart and pull in that green light and then you're gonna blow out your candles so do that now and we're gonna give gratitude to ourselves for making ourselves giving ourselves the permission to make our dreams a reality and to tap into our power to create that reality. And we're going to be joyful about that because no one controls us. The economy doesn't control you. The government doesn't control you. The environment doesn't control you. Your parents, your partner, your friends don't control you. You control everything. And you're now giving yourself the opportunity to create. Now I'm going to invite you to envision the earth in front of you. So we're going to set a collective intention and we're going to do a collective healing for Mother Earth right now. So you're going to visualize the earth in a small basketball in front of you. 
and you're gonna place your hands like you're holding the basketball in front of you. So place your hands in front of you like you're holding a basketball. Make a, enough space so a basketball fits between your hands. Now you're going to focus on your heart. Again, the most powerful thing on, in this universe. And you're going to send beautiful pink love into the earth. We're going to send love to the trees, to the soil, to the mountains, for giving us food, giving gratitude to the trees, for giving us clean air, and helping balance global warming on our planet. So we're going to send our pink light into the earth. We're going to give our gratitude and our love for the water. The fact that we have running water. Most people don't have running water. They don't have faucets. They don't have running toilets. Let's give gratitude for that. If you're listening to this, then you probably have that. Let's give gratitude for all her minerals. So give gratitude to the crystal that you're holding, if you're holding one. I mean, even your cell phone has crystals inside. So let's give gratitude for all her resources and all the beauty under the sea, on land, in the skies, all the hawks, eagles, canaries, all the gorgeous birds, all the beautiful animals, and all our beautiful and amazing brothers and sisters. So we're going to send love and healing into all of humanity. We're going to focus on people living on the coast because the ocean is rising. So we're going to send love to them and send love to the coast, all coasts all over the world so that the coral reefs can repair themselves so that no more earthquakes will trigger volcanic eruptions because we are creators and when we channel and focus our energy together it's so powerful so I'm going to invite you to continue envisioning that you're holding a basketball in between your hands and you're sending your loving pink light of healing into the earth. And we're going to give her our gratitude for the meals that we ate today, for the water that we drank, for the wind that's cooling us and cleansing us right now. And we're going to remember the roots that we grew from our bodies into the earth, knowing that she is our mother and she is nourishing us. And now we are nourishing her. We're sending love and sending healing to everyone that's been affected by natural disasters. Sending the intention that their homes will be restored effortlessly, quickly, and with joy. And that they, they heal quickly and effortlessly. So I'm going to invite you to return to your breath as we close down this meditation. I give you my gratitude again for doing this very important work that you just did. You just healed me, you healed the earth, and you healed so many people around you. So I'm going to invite you to pay attention to your breath.
So we're gonna take deep breaths, keeping our eyes closed, breathing in, and slowly exhaling out. Breathing in, and slowly exhaling out. Breathing in, and slowly start exhaling out. So you're going to start wiggling your fingers, returning back to the body. Slowly, whenever you're ready, wiggling your toes, returning back into the body. And you're going to pay attention to the stillness, this connection to your body, this connection to the earth that you always have. Giving gratitude to the crystals that you're holding and giving gratitude to yourself for taking this time to relax, to go deep within, to uncover your power, unlock your power and to become aligned with your heart. So whenever you feel ready, I'm gonna invite you to open your eyes and as you do this, you're gonna do it with the intention that you're gonna pay attention to all of the signs that come to you. This month, and that you get as much clarity as you need. Thank you so much for allowing me to join you today. Have an incredible night. Have an incredible month. And congratulations for manifesting everything that you want to manifest this month. Namaste.